Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we're going to be replacing the throttle on your Razer E300 series electric scooter. This is a fairly easy procedure. It should take you approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. For this process, you will need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver. A standard screwdriver. A 3mm Allen wrench. A 4mm Allen wrench. An 8mm open end wrench. A zip tie a pair of scissors, and a little bit of soapy water. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, removing your deck lid. Step two, removing your throttle. Step three, installing your new throttle. And step four, reinstalling your deck lid. As always, when working with electric products, always make sure you shut off the power before you start. Let's begin with step one, removing our deck lid. There are eight screws that need to be unscrewed in order to remove the deck lid. I like to start at the front and work my way back, but you can start wherever you'd like. So take your Phillips head screwdriver and start unscrewing. The middle screws require your four millimeter Allen wrench. Now back to our Phillips screwdriver. And lastly, the rear two. These two have a nut on the bottom securing them in place. This is where you use your eight millimeter open end wrench to hold the nut while you loosen with your Phillips screwdriver. Now that all your screws are removed, simply lift the deck lid straight up and set it aside. That concludes step one, removing our deck lid. Now onto step two, removing our throttle. This step involves cutting a zip tie, removing cable ties, tracing your throttle cable wire, unplugging the plug, and sliding your throttle off. We'll begin this step by cutting our zip tie. Take your scissors and go around and carefully cut that zip tie off. Next, let's take off our cable ties. Simply start at the top and untwirl them. In the battery tray, there's a little trap door all the wires run through. Slide it straight up and set it aside. Next, let's find out which cable to unplug. We'll do this by tracing the cable from the throttle assembly into the battery tray. Once you've found your plug, pinch the clip and separate it. Now that your throttle cable's unplugged, slide it underneath the battery tie-down strap There's a rubber grommet in the trap door that holds all the wires together. Lift it straight up out of that and slide it out of the trap door. Now onto removing the throttle assembly. Take your three millimeter Allen wrench and loosen the screw on the top of the throttle. Once it's a little loose, slide the whole throttle in along with the plastic piece in there. Take your standard screwdriver and your soapy bottle of water. Stick the screwdriver in the grip and give it a little twist and spray some soapy water in there. Once you have it nice and soapy, grab that grip and twist it off. This may take a little finagling. If needed, you can reapply more soapy water. 
Grip is off, set it aside. Next, just slide the throttle assembly off the end. Make sure not to lose the spacer. Now that your throttle assembly is off, that concludes step two, removing your throttle. Now let's proceed to step three, installing your new throttle. Take your new throttle, slide it on the end, followed by the spacer. And for the grip, you may want to apply a little more soapy water to make it slide on nice and easy. Once your grip's on, slide your throttle all the way back to it. Take your three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten down the screw on top of the throttle. Now that you've installed your throttle assembly, let's go ahead and tie up these cables with our cable ties. Grab one end of the cable, set it on and twist it around. And do the same with the other three. Now that we've installed our cable ties, let's plug our throttle back in. Put it through the trap door. Press the cable back into the rubber grommet. Slide it underneath the battery tie down strap. And plug it back into its corresponding plug. Now that we have our plug plugged in, grab your trap door and slide it back on. Next, let's take our zip tie and secure the cables to the frame. Slide your zip tie through the zip tie slot and wrap it around the cables. Using your scissors, cut off the excess. That concludes step three, installing your new throttle. Now onto step four, reinstalling your deck lid. Grab your deck lid, set it on top and line up the holes. Once your holes are all lined up, you can screw it down. Remember, with the rear two, you gotta use your eight millimeter open head wrench to hold the nut from spinning. Now that the deck lid is on and secure, that concludes the process of installing your new throttle. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you are still having any troubles or complications, please feel free to visit the customer support section on Razor.com. See you later, alligator.